Hey everybody, Genesis 7 here bringing you another SEGA Heroes video and in today's video we're going to be looking at the latest character to join the roster of heroes and that is Agent G. Mission completed. Now in case you didn't know, Agent G is from the House of the Dead franchise, but before we go into his in-game statistics, let's have a brief history of Agent G. Now Agent G, codenamed Silver Fang, is an AMS agent and a recurring character in the House of the Dead series, making his debut in the first House of the Dead, of where his attire is based on. And here is a fun factorino, the G in Agent G stands for well, nobody knows. That is not the fun fact. It could be Gaiden, it could be Gregory, it could be Jeff, it could be Gary. We just don't know. But the real fun fact to Reno is that Agent G has made the most appearances in the games, being in almost every installment of the main House of the Dead series. Now with that out of the way, let's get to business with Agent G in Sega Heroes. His hero colour is blue, his rarity is legendary, and his type is striker so he is all about the physical damage and dealing those numbers his max skill is shotgun blast it costs a mana of 12 it deals physical damage which increases as you level up agent g and it explodes one enemy special tile now you're probably thinking well this isn't going to help me in beyondering this isn't going to help me in survival this isn't going to help me during those hard events well, you got to look at Arena. I think this can really help out in Arena because there's been many situations where the enemy AI special tile has been triggered and I've lost. It's caused an all sorts of chain. You eliminating that special tile can definitely change the tide of an Arena battle. Now his star skill is Fearless Fire. To trigger this, all you got to do is match a blue star tile. This destroys two rally tiles and deals two hits of physical damage, of which will increase in power as you level up Agent G. Now, if you have rally level two, you'll have increased damage. If you have rally level four, you'll do even more damage. And again, this will scale with level. So just looking at Fearless Fire, this is all based on your rally level. So this is definitely beneficial for those long battles where you're building up your rally level, especially during survival. I think towards the end of survival where those rounds and waves get a lot tougher, Agent G is really gonna shine with his physical damage. Now his passive is AMS training. When Agent G matches four or greater, you will deal extra damage. And of course, this extra damage will scale as you level up. And when you make a rally match, there is a chance to fully fill your blue mana. And of course, the percentage of this triggering will increase as you level up Agent G to a total of 15%. Now that might seem like a small number, but if you're really lucky and that keeps triggering, you're gonna be able to keep on using Shotgun Blast, which is a devastating attack. Combine that with Fearless Fire, he's gonna be truly dealing some damage. He is a true striker and a true striker to have on your team. And for those that are interested, his max power is 70,030 and his max health is 315,135. So just looking at Agent G, he is truly a legendary character. He is going to be dealing immense damage. You level him up, you rank him up, you promote him, you keep the rally level high. He is definitely going to be dealing the numbers and I can't wait to use Agent G in Sega Heroes. Now that's about everything we need to cover in this video. So again, thank you for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, please leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.